Hi guys and uh, welcome to my review for the Duno Falcon Ultra. This is the latest uh, single ED from uh, Duno um, and uh, an updated version, I could say, of the original Falcon. Uh, I never really heard the original Falcon but uh, it is my understanding that it was um, not a, a very well uh, accepted IEM. Um, anyway, this is the updated version. Uh, this is the box, very simple, you open it up open that up and then inside comes this case which I'll show to you now in a second plenty tips I mean you get basically all the assorted tips that you can imagine from uh, from um, from Duno uh, the SS the the colored ones you, you get them all all right um, you get as well a cleaning tool and adapter 6.35 adapter you, you I mean in terms of accessories uh, as is usually the case for Falcon uh, for Falcon sorry for Duno uh, no no real complaints there uh, as for the case, it's a case which we've now seen as well um, in the earbud uh, that they, they just recently launched, Alpha 3. Um, nice case, good size. Inside uh, we have the tuning nozzles, uh, the, the stock ones are blue and then the, the, the alternative ones are these gold ones. Okay, it brings this little case here to put your IEMs into the, the actual unit themselves. Um, brings these extra indicators, like rubbers to identify better the uh, actual um, uh, left and right uh, uh, well they actually are used to seal up the nozzles when you when you swap them over but um, they will also identify left and right and you bring as well the uh, uh, other uh, um, uh, cable uh, termination um, plug termination rather for the cable the cable is a, is a modular cable and so you bring, I've got the other module, uh, the other terminal actually in here. Um, anyway, that, that's basically it. I'm using the, the, the stock cable because it, it's, it works fine, looks beautifully. I'm using the SS tips in the large size. The IEMs themselves, they've got this absolutely stunning blue color. Blue turquoise, I don't know what to really call, but absolutely stunning color. Really, really nice. Um, you know, uh, yeah, the, 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 this video doesn't do justice to how good they look in, in reality. In terms of the actual size of the IEM, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty small shell, it's not a, it's not a big shell. Um, although, it does have a good weight to it, so it does give you that feel of, of, of a premium look to it. Uh, the only thing that it doesn't have is anything, you know, um, um, to, uh, you know showing the name or the, or the branding or anything, which is a pretty, I mean, a little, I mean, it is a beautiful shell, I'll give it that, but a little small branding over there, nicely engraved Falcon or Duno or something, I, I think would have complemented it nicely. Um, you, you can see that the, the shell was basically designed around the driver, you can see very well where the driver sits, okay, um, and then it's got this, this dual kind of a venting system here with a good identification of the right and the left side. Um, and that's basically it. Like I said, I'm using the, the stock cable. Um, no issues with the, the stock cable in my ears. Uh, so the stock cable. Uh, no issues with the stock cable in terms of it going around my ears. It's, it works. It worked fine. Worked pr perfectly in that aspect. Uh, the fit as well is, is, is good. Uh, I had to uh, opt for the, the large size um, uh, SS tips, although the medium ones actually were getting me a slightly better sound, but uh, the large ones were the only ones that were actually holding the the uh, the IEM in place, so I had to opt for that. Um, and that's basically it. There's not really not much more I can say with regards to the fit, the overall finish. It's all top quality. I mean, this is a $239 IEM, so for that price, we are expecting already to have a high level of, of fit and finish, and, and in that aspect, there's absolutely nothing that can be, uh, in my opinion, pointed uh, as, a, as an issue, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's faultless, uh, the, 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 Duno in, the Duno Falcon in that aspect, it's absolutely faultless. Um, as for the, um, some of the kind of specs that some of us like to, to sometimes always hear, it's, it's, um, it's got a 16 ohm in, uh, impedance uh, at 1 kilohertz, the um, uh, the uh, driver uh, that they are using apparently uh, is a second generation um, uh, Eclipse architecture dynamic driver uh, which uh, is, is basically a, a lithium magnesium 
uh, structure in the diaphragm. So it's got a, let's say, a, a very uh, unusual and high-end diaphragm material. Um, and that's basically the 108 uh, dBs of, of uh, sensitivity. Um, and th that's basically, there's not really much more I can say. So we are, uh, you know, in, in, in the presence of a, a really high quality product. It's got a good, well-designed driver the high quality diaphragm material, high quality magnetic system, um, uh, the, the, you know, the overall finish of, of the shell is, is faultless. They call it um, a Klein Blue finish. Uh, cable as well, it's good quality cable, good accessories in terms of, of the, 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 the terminations for that same cable and then the, the tips that they have supplied. The, honestly, like I said, for $239, uh, you expect a uh, certain amount of things and, and Duno has delivered. Anyway, on to what we want to know, which is uh, the sound, and that's the <clears throat> the part that we all are all most interested in. Um, I only selected two IEMs because um, these were the two IEMs that immediately jumped to, to, to mind when I started hearing the, the Falcon, and, and, and it was actually quite surprising because I never, th I, I never in my wildest dreams uh, thought that the Falcon would sound anything like the like the the tantrum oxygen uh, and to a certain extent uh, although it, it's got a little bit less extension the jd7 uh, from um, uh, from fio jade audio uh, is also got a a very similar kind of sound uh, to um, the falcon ultra so um, for those of you that own this you can already get a perception of what uh, the falcon ultra is um, there are two tuning uh, nozzles uh, selections that you can make. One which is the blue one, which is the one I've got there, and the one that I've left. And that's the one that has, in my opinion, uh, the best balance between what we get in mids, upper mids, and treble, and then what we get in terms of the, the low end extension. The low end, the low end extension one I showed you just now, it's got a nice healthy uh, base with a very slight roll off into the sub bass, but very slight. I mean, it's, it's so minimal that... Uh, I, I don't even think it's it's um, uh, worthwhile even considering it. But anyway, that's how it is. I'll show you the graphs in a second so you'll see it better. Uh, Harmonish kind of a tune. Um, and when I actually put the three graphs of them together, you will see what I mean. I mean, they graph very, very close. The biggest differences here are that the tantrum oxygen passed 9, 10K is the one that's got the most extension and you notice that ever so slightly in those songs that have that detail up top and this one is going, the one that's got the least extension, okay? In terms of the bass, the mids, they all kind of very similar. Yes, of course, you do notice differences. I'm not going to deny that you don't notice differences. You do. Um, I mean, the JD, the JD7 for for what it is, for its seventy dollar price tag, and for what it is, it is a, in my opinion, a bit of a, a hidden gem. Um, it is a very nice sounding IM with perfect timbre and tonality, a nice healthy bass, good quality, decent, speedy. You know, really, really. I mean, for me, up to up to the state uh, it's it's the best single dd i've heard from from fire uh, granted i haven't heard a lot of them but this is the best one that i have heard from them by far okay uh then in the uh, in the extension up top past 8 8k uh, you notice that it doesn't have uh, as much twinklies and sparklies as either the other two but then again we're also talking completely different price brackets although that is not a justification you have iems costing this um, this the same amount as the uh, the fee of the the jade that have a lot of extension up top i mean uh, the ea 500 is the one that comes to mind the sim got even its uh, its younger brother the ew 200 has got more extension than this but what this offers is just a it's, it's just got a very nice, organic, old-school kind of uh, uh, sound. It's, it's very, very enveloping. It, it, it's really, really nice sounding. Oxygen. Uh, those that follow me know that this is one of my favorite IEMs of all time, period, end of story. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's an IEM that has been around for a while. It has served as the basis for other uh, brands to have come out with, with similar styled uh, tunings and similar style of sound um, uh, Tripo and uh, Olina the original and the Tripo and Olina SE 
um, supposedly or using a similar driver or the same driver uh, but the tuning in my opinion although it came close it wasn't the same as the oxygen and the oxygen in my opinion still plays better than those um, in terms of the oxygen itself and its sound uh, the, People have always, ah, the bass, this, the bass, that. Honestly, I don't see any issues with the bass. It's got a perfect amount of bass. It's quick, it's detailed, it's got great texture, mids are faultless. No aggressiveness, no shoutiness, nothing that uh, you would say, oh, no, but it, 5K peak is killing nothing. Uh, when I show you the graph of this particular unit, you will see what I mean. It uh, graphs faultlessly, it sounds beautiful. Um, I mean, th there's a reason why the oxygen... Uh, has uh, has had the success that it has had and has been around for such a long time and and uh, well um, I, I suppose eventually there will be a substitute but as for now still the, it hasn't got a substitute and we're talking about an IM that's been around since like late 2018 early 2019 so four years for an IM in the tri fi world is, is a long long time uh, and then finally the the, 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 the Falcon Ultra base uh, perfect honestly a really really high quality bass it's quick it's it's detailed uh, I mean I have a, a, a few songs that usually are the my, my go-to songs to to to, to test and, and to uh, see you know uh, the quality of the bass the the, 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 the the speediness but anything from like uh, Puerto Banus from Paul Hart Castle which is more of an EDM light EDM chill out kind of music fantastic bass to sunrise the live version from larry colton um, I've, the uh, bass is enveloping it, it really gives you that live uh, sensation to uh, um, more more usual songs that I, I i even use which is uh sure one second here let me see um, feels good from Rashan Patterson or Up and Up from Jeff Ryan and then from Dust to Dawn, especially from Dust to Dawn. It's a nice song where you will see that speed of that bass of, of the of the driver if it's if it's a speedy driver. Uh, plenty of speed, plenty of weight, great slam, great impact. Nothing to really be you know pointed as a fault. Mids with the blue tip, perfect. They have the right amount of energy female male vocals are spot on uh, instruments spot on <coughs> excuse me nothing in terms of oh it's it's uh, a little bit too aggressive um, I mean one of the characteristics which for me is most important is the timbre and tonality and the timbre and tonality of of the Falcon is for me at least and for my music that I like listening to spot on I mean Tequila Moon from Jesse uh, from from Jesse J sounds beautiful I mean honestly uh, you know nothing that I, nothing that I can really falter. Uh, Twilight from Brian Simpson, another one that is amazing. Mediterranean Sunrise from Andrea, Andrea Razzuti again. Um, another one from from Andrea Razzuti which I like using is uh, uh, Arasio Bossa. Uh, Elephant from Carol Duboc. All of these all of these are songs that showcase uh, in, for me at least the the timbre and the, the overall timbre and tonality of an IEM. You know. Uh, and even things which are a little bit more more uh, like a Mexican Margarita from Jacob Gurevich, uh, fantastic. Honestly, I mean, truly, truly, truly fantastic. The 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 the, the way that uh, the the Falcon does all of those songs, it, faultless. Uh, you know, um, you, depending on what we're talking about or in terms of prices on, you you be, you know you expect more or less, uh, and it, for the price that it that it has, which obviously. $239 isn't, uh, you know, small money. Um, for the price that it uh, has, uh, the performance that it has for me is on par. It's it's faultless. Uh, with the gold tip, um, the whole mids, uh, upper mids and treble are brought down um, 2 or 3 dBs, um, which will overall make the sound a little bit warmer, but a little bit darker as well. Um, it's not that it's uh, a bad sounding in that way. No, it isn't. It just completely changes its 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 personality. Uh, it will probably be more suited for those that don't like treble a lot, which I, in this case I don't think is really an issue because this is by no means a treble heads. I am the treble that does exist is a very clean, 
detailed, non sibilant treble. I mean, really fantastic. Um, but overall, I preferred using the, the blue nozzle. I, it just gave me the, 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 that balance that I preferred. And especially, especially the reason why I'm using the, the blue nozzle is in terms of that a little bit extra of detail retrieval, a little bit extra uh, better uh, pinpoint imaging uh, and sound stage. All of the technicalities are just overall better. Okay. Uh, when it comes to things like sound stage, it's always a, a difficult one to 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 uh, to uh, you know give a proper idea of. For me, what I look for when I talk about sound stage is if the sound is. Uh, kind of grand if it's it's if it's a big sound in terms of uh, big space or if it's more closed in and in the case of the falcon it's it's a it's not a huge stadium but it's a big space so it's a big venue that's the the perception you get from listening to to the to the falcon by comparison the the oxygen has got a little bit bigger sound stage okay um, and that basically covers it in terms of of the falcon so great bass great mids the treble is is perfect in the right amount, but perhaps the one that is less of a of a maybe the treble is the area where it shines less compared to the mids in the bass. Uh, but by that by no means does it that mean that the treble is not uh, high quality. No, it is a high quality treble. Um, in terms of technicalities, like I said, everything uh, really you know ticks the right boxes. The the standout uh, for me in terms of technicalities or uh, the timbre and the tonality without a, without doubt and then the detailed retrieval imaging and soundstage are both very good uh, but the two standouts are without the detailed retrieval and and uh, and the timbre and the tonality as compared then to to these um well co compared to the jade the, the jade the jade is not as competent an i am as uh, the falcon um, but I will give the Jade this much in terms of the bass uh, it actually is able to keep up uh, especially in terms of that mid bass slam it's actually capable of keeping up with the Falcon better than what I was expecting especially when you consider Falcon costs three times what the, what the, what the Jade costs uh, but overall you can definitely see that if this is good this is really really good as compared to the oxygen and as I said in the beginning you know um, when, when I started listening to it, uh, it reminded me a lot of the oxygen and I was quite impressed. The biggest difference or, or where you will probably notice the difference between the two of them is in the oxygen's ability to have just that little extra little, you know, just that little smidge more detail up top, that little more uh, detailed retrieval uh, and perhaps just, well, perhaps not, just a slightly bigger sound stage, uh, especially in terms of width, not so much in terms of height or depth, but width. That's where you will see the difference. In the rest, honestly, I I, I was very hard pressed, uh, you know. And 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 this is this is a, a tough one for me to to have to admit that. Well, uh, the truth is this. Obviously, IEM manufacturers learn from the the, the, the IEMs that have been past references. Uh, I, I'm I'm sure that they. Uh, they will most likely go and buy actually those IEMs and dismantle them and see what makes them tick and make what makes them special. So you know, I think that's actually uh, quite quite flattering to be honest. Um, and that's how you actually will improve your own products in, in reality. So um, yes, uh, the Falcon is capable of uh, being a a very solid substitute for uh, a ten stream oxygen. If you have a ten stream oxygen, does it? Uh, make sense to buy the Falcon. Uh, ultimately, probably not because the differences don't, don't are not uh, big or sufficiently big to justify having two IEMs, which will ultimately be very similar. If you don't have any either one of them and you're looking for an IEM at this price range, uh, you know. However, it uh, 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 kind of is hard for me to admit. I would probably go for the Falcon. Uh, why? Well, because first of all, it's a, a newer technology in terms of the driver. Um, you know, in terms of accessories and 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 cable and everything is also superior to to what the oxygen offers. Um, and uh, you, well, you will basically be more up to date with the, with the, something which is now the, the latest in terms of of a really high quality single DD. Um, so you know, however much I love my oxygen, and I think that my oxygen is fantastic i am the, the the ultra would probably be the one that i would 
would um, would uh, advise more people to go for um, and that's it guys I mean basically you know a, a very solid IEM from Duno uh, one that uh, uh, does deserve uh, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, people auditioning it, uh, and making sure they listen to it properly, making sure they understand the magic that it offers, and then obviously then you decide if you want to get it or not. Um, going to show you now the uh, uh, graphs, and uh, we'll wrap it up from there. All right, take care. Thank you. Hi guys, and uh, welcome now to the graph section for the Falcon Ultra. <coughs> uh, straight away, the two graphs that I'm showing you is the graphs of the Falcon Ultra with the different nozzles. The um, green top line is the graph uh, with the blue stock nozzle and the, with the blower uh, yellowish orange line is uh, with the gold nozzle. As you can see the base is basically the same, it's just then the, the levels here of the, the, the upper mids and treble basically that are, that are changed slightly. Uh, and that slight change, like I say, is um, then what makes uh, with the gold nozzle everything to sound just a little bit, um, uh, a little bit just warmer. It's not even dark, the best word. It's a little bit warmer, and you know, when when you actually see here uh, the ratio between the lowest point and the highest point of the bass and and the mids, it's it's, it's it looks equal, but the balance overall when you listen to it, it just sounds uh, warmer. Uh, while when you are uh, with the gold, sorry, with the blue tip, uh, again you see that the ratio basically maintains itself very similar. Okay, you can see it maintains itself very similar, but um, the 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 reality is there's th that little extra bit there just uh, it it just uh, is enough just to open up the sound just that little extra bit that'll you know you get that smidge extra detail that smidge more uh, openness uh, in in the sound um so let me take the gold out now compared to uh, the other two ims that i was uh, showing you this one that i'm putting now is the tensium oxygen and let me just put this in red actually so that it stands out okay red and now align it there we go and you can see straight away what I was what I was mentioning about the similarity of the graphs uh, it's no way in the base that you see any significant difference uh, you know there will be songs that yes you will perhaps pick up on a little extra cleanliness in the base of the Falcon a little bit extra speed of the base of the Falcon but for the most part yeah, the, the the difference isn't uh, huge okay or, or, or noticeable rather uh, where you will notice the difference is past 8k this area yeah yes you do notice that there's a little extra bit of extra sparkle extra air extra uh, space when it comes to the auction the mids are again very equal <coughs> excuse me sorry and the other IEM that I also had there was the Jade, which I'm going to put up now. And the Jade, again, as you can see, let me just change the color this to green so it stands out. There we go. And the, the, the Jade, as you can see, again, in terms of uh, the graph, it's, it's almost identical. I mean, there's really uh, not much difference uh, at all. However, when you do listen to it, yes, you do notice that... Although the bass is fantastic, it's the same situation. There's that little extra cleanliness in the bass of the Falcon. There's that, that, that extra, uh, just it, it's just a, 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 a better quality bass. You, you 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 notice it, obviously more with the, the Jade and uh, than with the, the Tenstrom, uh, but th that is it is noticeable if you are you know listening to specific songs and the right conditions. And then you know the, the mids for the most are very similar. It's just then got less detail up top let me just check here where the it's just got less detail up top actually i could have put that in blue why not in blue yeah huh? in blue there we go in blue so you guys can see the difference so in blue is the, the falcon ultra and in green the uh, jade uh, and then there is a little extra more detail more space more air uh, with the Ultra. But overall, I mean, the th these three IEMs, uh, the graphs don't lie, they speak for themselves. 
they are very very similar uh, graphically and the, the, the differences that exist in sound uh, are there they are noticeable um, but you know on a first quick impression uh, you might think that they all sound exactly the same but no when you start you know nitpicking and going into the finer details and, and listening to specific songs and specific details and specific songs you do start noticing the difference um, and again like I said earlier um, you know um, as a solid alternative to the oxygen um, if you don't have the oxygen obviously yes I definitely recommend the, the Falcon Ultra you know without a without any hesitation although I, I would also suggest you know go listen to it see if it fits nicely if you feel it feels comfortable and, and then afterwards decide all right anyway guys as always like and subscribe you know smash that button there help me grow my channel help me bring more content to you guys and um, i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye